Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, the question we have today is a three-part question on interfaith relations. The first part of it is, can non-Muslims uh, enter a mosque? Yeah, definitely. In fact, our mosques uh, should be open to uh, people of all faiths or none. Our Friday prayers, for example, could be attended by anyone. Uh, if non-Muslims are looking to attend uh, such a service, it might be a good idea to call ahead and find out because uh, the, the policies at various mosques may be individuated and different one from another. Uh, but, but in general, my advice to Muslims is to open your mosques uh, so that non-Muslims can visit. Uh, the converse of that is, are Muslims allowed to attend uh, synagogues, churches, and other places of worship? Now, uh, here the, the uh, traditional um, uh, scholarship would have said no, because they, they might be thinking, okay, you go to another place of worship, maybe you influence some other belief that is contrary to your own. Maybe you start worshiping a God other than the one true God, the universal creator of the heavens and the earth. Uh, so you should refrain from all of these things. Now, they might say that an exception is made for the person who is uh, a, pr a preacher of the religion. So he might go into another place of worship in order to guide the people towards the right path. Now it is, of course, uh, the communities are interlinked. Uh, people are uh, uh, connected with each other. Uh, families are, you know, have intermarried, uh, th there are intermarriages between religions and, and so on. So uh, to keep all of these connections, sometimes it becomes necessary to attend uh, another place of worship uh, for uh, maybe there is a wedding ceremony being uh, uh, taking place or some other event. Um, or perhaps uh, a Muslim is just accompanying a non-Muslim friend or, or relative. Uh, to their place of worship uh, and, and wants to associate with that community uh, in some way. Uh, so the scholars would make uh, some distinction between those who are established in the religion and those who are not. So those who are well established in the religion, they would say, okay, there's no danger, you're going there, um, uh, you already know your own faith and, and uh, there's no danger in going into another place of worship. And so long as you do not worship another god, um, or acknowledge uh, the, a belief that is contrary to your own, uh, then you, you are fine. How about attending the funeral of a non-Muslim friend or relative? The answer to this can be controversial, so l let me just clarify that there is a passage in the Quran in the ninth chapter that people will cite as uh, indicating that Muslims cannot attend such uh, funerals. But uh, I would say that this uh, is in reference to those hypocrites in Medina who were uh, clearly uh, out to uh, assassinate the Prophet, peace be upon him, to demolish the Islamic faith and so on. But in general now, we're not dealing with such persons. We're dealing with the average individual who is friendly towards Muslims. Muslims are friendly towards them. They would attend the Muslim funeral and naturally in uh, Muslims would reciprocate by attending their funerals as well. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey YouTube, we hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.